Welcome back to the channel guys and girls, or welcome to the channel if you're new. In this video, following up on the 7th Victor Royale, it's going to be the 8th Crown Victor Royale. Hopefully you enjoy. Just like last time, there isn't any weekly quests or any snapshot quests or anything like that, so we're just going to be randomly playing. We cut out most of the goofy trolley stuff, just because I didn't really like how bad it turned out. But, hopefully you enjoy this video. There we go. So I just heard that guy in the building, but I didn't end up doing anything with that gameplay, so we're just jumping over to the next game. I can see this guy trying to land up over here, but he didn't actually make it to the top, so he just went down. This guy actually melted us pretty well here, but we got the finish on him. I added a lot of this boss fight out because it was a lot of running around, rehealing, coming back. I didn't think anybody ever really wanted to see that, so. So I decided not to fight the minion here and just go after the main boss because I knew that it would eliminate the minion. I wanted to claim this blue chest, but I knew there was a guy coming up here with a hired character and I didn't really chance it right off the bat. But putting the ramp down actually opened it, so that helped me out a little bit. Now this guy's hired character throws grenades, so I'm kind of waiting for him to find out what he's doing. The hired character overshot his grenades here. So this guy is actually being kind of trolley too with his gameplay. I set down his ramp here. This is reloading, so he's being kind of trolley. And in a second here, I'll try to show him that I have thunderbolts, but he didn't really care. In a second here, somebody comes in with a bowcaster, I don't know who it was, but they started shooting at the hired character over there. So I decided to make my little escape plan at that point. I'm going to sneak up around the side of him and try and shoot him from there. So his hired character was chasing the other guy. And this guy was trying to get an advantage point, so I tried taking some shots, but I missed them all. My DMR doesn't actually have a scope on it. I nearly hit him there, he almost got me as well, but you see this guy flying in? It's a guy with some wings of Icarus flying in, so it's a good thing I turned around at that point, because he probably could have just dive bombed me and killed me from there. It's still the same gameplay, so this is the second game that we got into. Two eliminations, top ten situation. We're driving around the mountain because pretty much everybody over here has a medallion. So somebody's shooting at me with a bowcaster. The Wookiee bowcaster. As you can see on the map, there's two more medallions. I'm carrying one of them, so you can't really see that on the map. And my car got stuck, so I decided to go back up and chase down the bowcaster guy. So now the third medallion's coming into zone. Looks like he's out in the storm right now. I think I hit the launch pad, but I didn't want to get shot out of the air. This guy just came up the zip line. I don't know if you can hear it because I had the volume down to record the audio. The guy up on the hill here ended up sniping the guy that just came up the zip line. This guy had a crown and a medallion. So here's the 
brick. I didn't even realize the brick was up there. I was wondering why I didn't have any brick, but I had full for everything else. Andy had the gatekeeper. So we're going to swap that out. Somebody else is just now coming up the zip line as well. So we're in top six now. That is hard scoping. I probably realizes that I have a sniper now too. This is top five situation. Somebody tried sniping us while we were in the air, thunderbolting that guy. Got three eliminations now, top four situation. I didn't actually mean to snipe there, I was just trying to put some hats down, but I had my rifle out at the same time. Now that my mats are replenished, I'm going to head back over and try to find the guy who was sniping at me. Trying to see that there's somebody peeking over this rock below this point. And then this guy here at the car. Tried catching him in the air there, but it didn't work. Almost got him there. And that one looked like it was dead on. I don't know how that one missed. Apparently there's a guy hiding right here at the brick though, so the stone I thought he was hiding at directly to my front of my character to my left now. He ran to the next one over where the tree is. Top two situation now. I'm just trying to catch this guy with a snipe. We got four eliminations. He knew it flying over here but I couldn't find him. Figured he probably came for the mats. And I knew the new zone was on the other side, so I wanted to go grab this medallion here. I was thinking maybe it was the strength one, so your hits were harder, but I'm not sure if it was or not. I just realized I can drop my water bending to pick up the wings. Being on a cliff like this, it's going to be pretty beneficial, I believe. Okay, let me see him coming off the cliff here now, going to the launch pad. I was really trying to keep my distance, I don't want to get in a close range fight with this guy. Especially being so close, you can see 8 crown victory out. I guess I'm going to make sure this was impenetrable so it didn't collapse on me. He's sitting right there inside the edge of the storm with the dope. Now I'm just trying to take the dope out so he can't get high ground. My plan here is to stay on the inside of movement and make him use up all of his mats. So I know he's behind this top wall. I figured maybe I can pull up the car and it'll land on him. But there was a rock there and it didn't fly over towards the builds. So I decided to go high ground. You can see him moving towards the mats now. I wanted him to think that I was pushing on him. But really I was just trying to maintain high ground. Got him pretty good with the SMG. Thought I was gonna get him with the sniper there, but we didn't. And I think he ran out of mats here. One more second to storm, and I would have been done for. 
There's no way up this cliff without mats, so I'm pretty sure we got this here. And there we go. We got our eighth crown victory royale of season two for chapter five. If you like the video, go ahead and click the like button. If you'd like to see more, go ahead and click subscribe. Click the notification bell so you see next I post next video, which is scheduled usually every single day. This is actually coming out after the seventh video because I have a racing video coming out in about six hours. If you liked it, there's a box on the left. Go ahead and click that for more videos. Click the box on the right for playlists for the season so you can choose which video you'd like to watch next. Thanks again. Stay safe. Stay positive.